Hello there YouTube. So I introduced the inversion method on a message board and a lot of the ladies are getting good results with it. Yay! But a lot of the ladies are not reading facts and are not heeding the warnings. Boo! So over 200 ladies joined my inversion method challenge. Woohoo! But only 13 shared photos. I hate that. But anyway, some stats to chew on. Out of the 13 ladies, 6 gained half an inch. Very lucky ladies gained 1 inch. 1 lady gained a quarter of an inch. And 4 ladies gained 0. Fusion, it doesn't work for everyone. It did work for most. With results ranging from a quarter of an inch to one whole inch in seven days. Bad for a 28 minute investment. Now on to the point of this video. I will illustrate different inversion techniques and discuss risk factors, if any at all, associated with each respective technique. But first, a word from our warning police. This is what I did on my first attempt, and it caused me to feel extremely lightheaded. Extremely as in college girl wasted lightheaded. And because I listened to my body, I slowly got out of position and was fine. While I do not recommend this pose, if you are going to ignore me and try it anyway, do not ignore the following. If you become lightheaded, your heart starts racing, or you just feel funny in any way, slowly come out of the position. Now the next position. Notice a big fat X across the bed. That is because this position is not recommended. Not, not, not. I conversed with two YouTubers who tried this position and one felt immediately ill and the other lost eyesight. That's right, she was blind for a few seconds. So on this position, no. Now this position is the more popular one among YouTubers I surveyed, and it still yielded results. And here is a slight inversion. This simple position has worked for at least a few young women. So if your body says no to the aforementioned positions, this may be your ticket. Now this, this is my patented position. I love this position because my head is not hanging too low, therefore I do not feel lightheaded. And with using the sink as my barometer, I am in the exact same position every single time. And that concludes the lesson in inversions for hair growth. And remember, if you feel dizzy, drowsy, sleepy, lightheaded, or otherwise abnormal, slowly come out of position. Hey there, wait, wait. Click the link and subscribe to find out what happened when I use peanut butter as a DC or how I achieved the blowout look without a blow dryer or to follow my adventures in African hair threading. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.